my name is Greg. My name is Greg. And today I welcome you back to my new and improved cologne shop. Cologne shop. Cologne shop. Cologne shop. Cologne shop. Now I already made, as you know, a cologne shop um review, if you want to call it like that. Or it's attempting to sell you colognes and reviewing it. But now I am back since it had a lot of success. But at a new location, more industrialized. And with a bigger shop. So it has more varieties and more stuff in stock to come soon. Because we just opened up so we're not fully in stock. But we will have more to come as our business gets older which will be in like a day so as you can tell it has the outline of a coffee shop but it looks elegant and modern at the same time but while also having wood wooden features and there is a single seat in the patio because as you know that when you have to smell a lot of cologne you have to sniff a couple coffee beans or else your head will hurt. You know, you'll feel, you can feel dizzy because of all the, of all the odors you're nailing all at once. But you also take it because, you know, you need to like get a new palette of smell in. And so from that, we use it to make coffee with this single coffee stand. But that's not the whole point of this. The whole point are the colognes. Now we got a pretty decent amount of them. And starting off, we have Mont Blanc Explorer, which is probably the cheapest option here. And it is perfect for going out. It smells very good. And it gets very much like a good amount of compliments. So here it is, Mont Blanc Explorer. Eau de Parfum, so EDP, EDP, and not the, oh crap, not the wrong EDP, ah, stop, oh, okay, whatever, I tried drinking it like 1.8, but that's not what it is, so yeah, here we are, Mont Blanc, it is perfect for going out, because it's cheap, and just something you can wear everywhere, it tastes very, it smells, sorry, well, um, I'm, I'm kind of drinking that, but, you know, obviously I have to, I drink my cologne. There are people who drink it and people who wear it, and Mont Blanc is perfect for going out, and it's a really good option for its price. Now, next we have Valentino, born in Roma, Yellow Dream, or the Parfum as well. And this one, wait, let me put that back, and let me put this away. This one is amazing too. It's one of my favorites. It's very sweet, but not sweet. That is unbearable. Like distinctively sweet, perfect for a club in my opinion. You're going to a club, and it's summertime, and you're looking for, you're fishing for compliments. I feel like this is a perfect cologne. I mean. In my opinion, along with Cruel Fantasy, which we don't have yet, but they're very similar. But Yellow Dream, it's more focused on a, like, in my opinion, it's sweeter, but not, uh, it's, it, 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 it is made out of, it feels like, not sweet, like, hard sweet, like fruit, like pineapple, kind of, you know, it's not, it's not a, a shitty sweet, it's a good sweet. And that's what's so good about it, because it's not intense. It won't give you a headache. It's perfect for summertime. It's it's literally a very summer-like cologne. But I don't know how to fully express the fact that it's a really good type of sweet. Not annoying. Not something that people will be like, What is this guy wearing? It, he drenched himself in molten Jolly Ranchers. 
Alright, so next up we have JPG Le, Be Le Parfum Also a De Parfum Intense So this cologne is the top seller of Jean-Paul Gaultier And honestly, I am not a big fan of JPG I don't own one of his colognes either I don't want, I don't own a cologne of his And I'm like, it is good But I am just not a fan of it myself I'm just there are more options that I prefer that drive me to not own a JPG cologne, but it is a really, it's really distinct, you know, there, there is a big community behind the JPG colognes, and I know a lot of people like them because it is also a cheap option. It's the second cheapest out of all of these. And it's it's good. It's good for its value. It's just if I would, I probably wouldn't buy it. If I like, if I had the opportunity to buy something around the same price range, where it's seventy bucks, even more, it's like, it can be more. I probably wouldn't buy it. I'd buy something else. And the Mont Blanc would be a better option because it's um, it's like forty. It's not that much. Wait, let me get this, or else we are going to not be able to see each other, because these colognes are still factory stage. They need to be released out to the public, and I am reviewing them. So, you know, if I am sick, that isn't my problem. I don't even get paid to do this, but, alright, ignore that. Let's go for Acqua di Parma, Bergamotto di Calabria. Amazing. Amazing cologne. Amazing, amazing. When you when you think of the Aqua di Parma lineup, you think of everything exactly the way it a fruit smells, but not like exactly like a fruit. You know, it is, it smells exactly like a fruit, but not exactly like a fruit. If you know what I mean. You don't know what I mean. It smells exactly like what the fruit it does, but in a cologne way, where it, it it blends with other ingredients that makes it strong to the point it's like a pleasant fragrance to have on you. It's it's perfect in my opinion. The Aqua di Parma lineup are, is a perfect lineup. It's underrated in my opinion, very underrated, but it is quite expensive. It is quite expensive. I mean, like a smaller, like 75 ml is 160. And the full 150 is like 240, which is insane. If you think about it, 150 ml isn't, I mean, it is a lot, but it also, you know, it isn't because with that price, you could probably look for um, Parfum de Mar, the I know a lot of people like that, but I would still go for Aqua di Parma over Parfum de Marley, which is an insane thing to say, like crazy to most people, but I love it because it's old, it's quite old too, it's like, it's inching towards like, I, I, know, I know it's at least, at least like 12 years old, but it's so good. And I don't know how to describe that. It smells like the fruit, like citrusy, like take, I don't know. Um, I mean, my favorite one is Mirto di Panarello, the best, best, best cologne of all time in my opinion. I love wearing it. It's so good. But our store has Bergamotto di Calabria, which it smells exactly like the, like the fruit. Is it, but in a cologne way, so it isn't annoying. You don't smell like a farm that is like growing this fruit, but you smell like it in a really, really good way. I mean, like take um, I forgot what it was called. I think it was Arancia di Capri. Yeah, yeah, it was at Orfico di Amalfi. They smell exactly like a fig and an orange, but in such a good way that. You feel like drinking it, which is what I do. But, yeah, really, really worth it. It's the 
most expensive out of the ones here and probably probably out of all of these in my opinion if no not even an opinion I think it is except for one of them which is it's it's about to be insane what I'm about to show you guys it's all right so here next one on to the next one just pretend it's coffee this is the minecraft coffee okay so the next one is boom burberry brit four men what is it aqua de uh oh de toilette are they all they are all adps are okay the pergamoto is it is toilet oh cheaper sudito scana is amazing too I mean, the whole lineup is so good. It's just underrated, in my opinion. But the reason why, because it's very overpriced. It's, it, it's not overpriced. It's very high priced, so nobody really takes it into consideration as much and as it used to be. Because when it came out, it had more popularity, obviously. But okay, so Burberry Brit is a really. It's also a really good night out cologne. But I wouldn't wear it to the club. It's more of a fancy, elegant dinner, in my opinion. It's very heavy. It's a heavy cologne. People could say you smell like a grandpa, but that's that's a that like not a grandpa, but like an older person. And if you're a young guy wearing it, it wouldn't fit you, in my opinion. It's kind of true but it's also kind of bs i mean it smells very good for an a distinct elegant like party it's heavy but it smells good it's not putrid to smell you know it's not like uh what was it calvin klein one or something like that oh that that's unbearable that actually makes you smell like a grandpa i mean that one is insane or i don't know I think it was called, um, Calvin, Cl no, 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 yeah, Calvin Klein Obsession. Oh my god, does that, th does that thing smell like an antique store? It's crazy, it smells so bad. I think, I'm pretty sure it's Obsession. I mean, it is disastrous of a cologne. Like, I don't know who would wear it. Alright, so next up we have Bleu de Chanel. And now this one is a really good cologne. Burberry, okay, so back to Burberry Brit. It's not that expensive. It's like a hundred and I've seen it for like a hundred twenty bucks, even less. But Blood de Chanel. My opinion, it's a battle between Blood de Chanel and um Saint Laurent. I think was it Saint Laurent? Yeah, it, it was like, it was Saint Laurent. Um, why I think it was called. It's, they, they smell similar in my opinion. Like, they smell, they, they don't smell similar. They give me the same vibe, if that makes sense. And it's perfect. This cologne is perfect for whatever you want to do. And it slows you down because it's so heavy. But no, this cologne is perfect for anything. I mean, you don't have to spray it excessively. No smell. If you're going out, it smells good. If it's casual, you smell, but not annoyingly. So it's not like you over. It's not like you over smell. It's a perfect casual cologne. That is also perfect for nights out. That is also perfect for a dinner with your grandma. That is also perfect with dinner alone. I guess or it's also perfect going to Panda Express and buying dinner for yourself you'll smell them at the gym wearing to the cologne like wearing cologne to the gym is kind of not my thing but I've heard I've smelt this cologne on people in the gym along with Dior Sport um I think, yeah, it's Dior Sport or something. It's, 
the one with the B on it. I forgot the name, but I'm pretty sure it's Zero Sport. It smells good, so... It smells really, really good. It's fresh. It smells great. Okay, so now time to ruin... Time to ruin your day. Dior Sauvage is back. But, 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 but... Sauvage. I'm pretty sure it's elixir. Yeah, it's elixir. X Baca Rat Baca Rat. Now I don't know who these people Baca Rat are. Chewbacca and rats mixed together. So basically, Chewie's shit. Or sorry, Chewie's feces mixed with rat hair gives you. $8,200 cologne which gives you less compliments it gives you less compliments than Rosasi Hawass which is 40 bucks before it's inflation so like now it's 80 90 bucks even 100 or something you get the point $8.2,000 for a bottle of cologne. And you can't even justify the price for De Sauvage itself. I don't know how you're supposed to agree with paying this money for this type of De Sauvage. I mean, yeah, it smells good. Good. I'm not gonna say it doesn't, but considering the price, I, it's uh, 8.2 grand. I will buy the entire lineup of Aqua di Parma and then donate the rest to charity. I mean, come on. This is crazy. This isn't like it's good, but it's. It's, let's just let's just say it smells like a Dior Sauvage, but you can you can smell that it's like ri rich, richer in a sense. It smells like more ingredienty, more like woody in a sense. It's it's good, but it's just not worth it, like at all. Like, please don't spend 8.2 grand. You know, you can spend 8.2 grand on anything but this. I mean, come on. That's why it's like, has its own little cute, whatever the heck, item frame, cool, glowing thing. But the favorite out of everything here is probably gonna be this one. Amazing. Amazing. It's great. The whole, like, the whole series of them are beautiful. Yeah, if you want to spend 8.2 grand, which equivalizes itself to about 15 emeralds, I think, in Minecraft. So, quite a decent amount. Yeah, I mean, come here. We have it. We serve it, you know. We are happy to sell you that cologne. And I don't know, actually, if I would let that happen to somebody, I'd probably just keep it up on display because they gave it to me. But, I mean, yeah, this actually exists in real life. And I have no clue where you can buy it except for online. I mean, I don't think Macy's will put that stuff on display. Because I think people will just smell it, grab it, and smash it to the ground because of it. They, they heard the price. But, yeah, I appreciate you for coming. And thank you. Thank you for being here on my debut of opening this coffee shop but let's 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 drink some coffee thank you thank you for coming and have a good one goodbye